Hi everyone, it's Neil again uh, with a career video thanks to the sponsorship of Hub.Careers. And today I wanted to talk, to talk to everybody about continuing education within your field. Once you graduate from a trade school or from college or a university, you're going to have a nice skill bunch of skill sets with which to go out, find a job, and to excel within your field. But in a little bit of time, your skills are going to start to become outdated. And so it's very critical for you to continue looking for new opportunities to learn more so that you can stay up to date with the advances in theories, methods, and other areas within your field so that you can best compete for the jobs uh, down the road. Now, where do you find these abilities, these, these opportunities to continue your education? Uh, one of the first things you can do is look towards associations that are linked with your field. Uh, as of right now, I'm an, I'm an anthropologist and I work within uh, higher ed and provide academic and career counseling uh, for students. So from the anthropology angle, I have the American Anthropological Association and related associations uh, that provide outlets for continuing education. There's also the American Counseling Association that um, I'm very fortunate they provide monthly um, online continued education opportunities. And whatever your field is, you're more than likely going to find at least one or two associations, either, either local, international, or national. And they will tie in nicely with what you're doing and what you plan to do down the road. And you're more than likely going to find that they provide, whether it's online or regional, get-togethers with professionals in your field um, to speak about advances within the field, providing you with a, an opportunity to continue your education. Linking to that are conferences. Pretty much every field that's out there has conferences, again, whether it's a regional conference, a national conference, or an international conference. Conferences are places where professionals get together and they provide lectures and workshops to discuss advances within the careers uh, that they support. And this is a great way for you to get in relatively low cost uh, continuing education opportunities. Um, from there, we move on to colleges and universities and just going and taking more classes. You don't necessarily have to get a new degree but you could look into taking an evening class or a weekend class. And whether it's a, you know, a short, just a few weeks in length that you're going to be attending this class, or it's actually taking a class over a course of a semester or multiple classes over multiple semesters. But taking college classes is a great way for you to get to know about the advancements in your career, whether it's learning new technologies or learning about where the current theoretical thinking is within your chosen field. Um, local colleges are also, it's not just just regular classes. You may find that they have workshops that go on on the weekend that are offered by different departments. And if you can find a department that's related to one or more departments related to your field, that might be a great way to find some low-cost or free uh, continuing education opportunities. Lastly, if you're looking for easy to access and low-cost continuing education opportunities, oftentimes you can speak to other professionals, whether at your workplace or at uh, similar workplaces within your area and talk to fellow professionals and see what they're doing for continuing education. Okay? That's going to be a great way to find the, you know, the less known uh, continuing education opportunities. What's the benefit of all this? Well, first and foremost, as I said, you're going to be learning new skills. You're going to be staying up to date. What happens if five years down the road or ten years down the road, even though you love your job, what if the economy tanks, okay, and the business you work for goes out of business? What are you going to do? Well, you're going to have to go back into the job market and compete for jobs. But 10 years down the road, if you haven't learned anything, you haven't taken any continued education
classes, you're going to compete, be competing against new graduates, but you're not going to have advanced skill sets. By continuing your education all along, you will have an opportunity to stay up to date and to better compete with, your, with other people that are out there seeking the same jobs you're looking for. Um, in addition to that, if you are someone seeking advancement, you want to get a director's position or a CEO position, well, if you seek out continuing education opportunities, the skill sets that you attain through those continuing education opportunities, those could help give you an edge in applying for those higher ranked jobs. Okay, So it, it's definitely going to give you an advantage and in many cases, if, you're, if you haven't been seeking uh, continuing education, that alone could exclude you from uh, being able to apply for those positions. Um, additionally, with continuing education opportunities, you may go and attend a workshop and find out there's a new development within your field and a new track of research that you're now interested in and you want to pursue that and move away from what you're currently doing. By attending a continuing education opportunities, you can learn about these new advances and these new directions within your field. And it may just lead you to a dream career path that you never even considered before. I started off as a field archaeologist and moved into clinical anthropology um, from the standpoint of providing counseling to college students, both in addition not just academic and career counseling, but also stress management counseling. Okay, So I've definitely went from the archaeology component of, within anthropology to now clinical anthropology. You may turn around and find that you want to make changes in a similar vein. Okay, And the continuing education is what's going to help you identify these opportunities. Uh, finally, when you attend continuing education opportunities, especially conferences, you start to get face-to-face -face with other professionals in your field. By doing that, you're likely going to start expanding your network. Why that's important is should you be seeking for better career opportunities or different career opportunities, your network is often going to be the source of job advice and recommendations that you need to pursue new careers. Um, I know from personal experience that when all of a sudden you unexpectedly um, are working on a grant as I was at one time and the grant ended and all of a sudden I needed to find a new job, the network that you have, as in my case, can go a long way to helping you track down new career opportunities. And quite frankly, it's just great to have fellow professionals going through and learning things alongside with you because then you can exchange ideas and actually help turn around and start presenting continuing education opportunities um, for your colleagues. That said, uh, if you have any questions, please uh, continue to send me your questions and your comments and links again to hub.careers. Uh, for their sponsorship of this video series, and I'm looking forward to talking to you guys in the future. Have a good night.